So welcome to my channel, Mindset Academy, where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen using the principle of tangency. Now I always tell you, you should look for any center of your choice in the given figure. And we have up to four centers here that we know is a center, right? Like this point here is the center, this is another center, this is another center here, and also this is another center here, right? So we have likely four centers here. So I'll start from the bigger one here, it's more obvious, right? So I'm going to draw my line, my straight line in this fashion. Hope you can see that. After I've done that, I'll draw also a vertical line at any center of my choice, right? So I can choose to draw it at this point here. All together. So let's draw this this way. So this is the center here. Now on that center, we have two circles. The first circle has a diameter of what? Of 40. And in tangency, we work with radius. I'm going to measure half of 40, which is 20. That makes it to be the radius. So from here to here is 20. Right? And I'm going to place it on that center. This way. And I'm going to draw a circle, which I will do my best to thicken it. You can see that. And the other circle has a radius of what? 32. So I'm going to measure 32. From 0 to, this is 30, 31, 32. And since it is not complete, I'll just use my faint line. And I'm going to draw a circle there. This way. Faint line first. Hope you can see that. Now. We discover that from this center, right, to the next center, which is this here, I'll move a distance of what? 37 from this center, because you look at this line here, from this point to this point is what? 37, right? So I'm going to measure 37 on my meter rule. From 0 to 37. From 0 to what? 37. Can you see that? And I will draw an horizontal line on that point in this fashion. Just faint line. Can you see that? Now the next thing is from this point here, which is this point my arrow is pointing to the next center of the circle, is given to be what? 40. So I will measure 40 from this point, from 0 to 40, right? And I will draw another vertical line on that point, this way. Now, on that point, we have a circle, two circles, an inner one and an outer one. The inner one is complete. So we are given diameter of 22, so I'm going to take 11. So I'm going to measure 11. So from 0 here, this is 10, and this is 11. Can you see that? And I'll place it on this point here. Now draw a circle, which I will take in. I'll change my point to what? 11. You can see that? Now, there's a bigger circle there, but it's not complete, and that has a radius of what? 22, from that same center. So, I'm going to measure 22. From 0, it is 20, 21, 22. Right? You can see that? And I'll place it on that center. And I'll draw a circle, but it will not be what? Complete. I will not take in it because it is not complete. That's what we have there. Now, aside that, we have another circle that is connecting these two circles 
that means if you look at that the two circles are outside the bigger circle because it's coming like this meaning these two are outside so it is external so whenever it is external you are going to add or better still a better way to remember is when you see that it is going in they're going to add the radiuses so if i add radius of 22 from this point and radius of 50 that will give us radius of what um 72 so I'm going to measure 72 on my meter with this way. Zero. This is 72 at this point here. Can you see that? And I'll place it at this center here. And I'll strike an arc this way. Can you see the arc? I'm striking. Similarly, I'm going to add the radius of 32 with 50 also. Right from this circle, since I'm considering this circle. 32 plus 50 will give us 82 and then I'm going to measure 82 so from 0 this is 80 right 81 82 here all together 82 there I'm going to place it at the center here I'll check an arc so where the circle where they meet then I'll place my compass on that point where they meet at this point here. Then I'm going to connect those both of them here. All together. I'll connect what? Both of them in this fashion. Right? I will come back to it. I'll move to the next center again. So it's meaning that this radius here is what we can see from the circle. The radius here is giving us what? Radius what? 50. Right? We move forward. Um, the next center, I'm going to measure from this center here now. Right? I'm going to measure 44 away from that center. So from here, I'll measure 44. From 0. This is 40 and this is 44 here. Can you see that? That is 44. Then I'll draw a line on that point. This way. Now, where that line meet the second line here, we'll give you another um, center. Right? And we have also two circles here. One of them, the outer one, is what radius of what 12. So I'm going to measure 12 on my metal rule in this fashion. So from 0 to 12, this is 10, this is 11, this is 12. And I'll place it at this point. I'll draw a circle, which I will draw with a faint line since the circle is not completed. So I'll just have this faint line. Can you see that? So the next thing is this uh, circle here. This one is connected to this, right? And it's also going in. So it's external. It's going in. It's external. So I'm going to add the radius of 12 and 24. Now give us 36. Since I'm considering this, so the radius of this, which is 12, plus the circle going in here, the arc going in, that is what 36. So I'm going to take the 6 on my meter root in this fashion. Go from 0. This is uh, 30. And this is 36 here. Right? And I'll put the center here. I'm going to strike an arc this way. You can see that? And the other one we have 22 plus 24. And that will give us 46. Right, the radius of this other circle here is 22 plus the arc, radius of the arc here, which is 24, and that'll give us what? 46. And I'm going to measure 46. So from zero here, this is 40, 45, 46 here. Can you see that? And I'll place it at this point. I'll strike an arc. So where this arc meets this the meet at this point here. So I'm going to place my compass at that point, and I'll draw my other arc. So placing it here, I'll come to this point, 
right and i'm going to draw my other app to get it and showing that it is well placed you can see that you can easily tick in here too close it up right so once i've done that then it is connected to this there's a line that is tangent to these two circles you can see from the diagram here so i'll take my c square and i'll connect a line joining this tangential to each other right the tangent line to this point hope you can see that and I'm going to complete this from here to this point. To this point here. Right. Now, the next thing we're doing is um there's an arc here in here as you can see from these two centers that we have here this and this and it has a radius of what of six so if i measure radius of six on my meter rule in this fashion radius of six right from zero to what to six and i'll place it here and I'm going to draw an up this way, a semicircle. Can I see that? And I'll come here to the same radius, I'll do the same thing too. Then I'm going to use my meter rule and I'll join those two points together. Then this metal rule and I'll join these two points together. Alright, you can see that. So now this is what we're having. So this is what we have when you dimension it and you have to put the center lines. So if you have um, found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.